because culture wins football. Culture will beat scheme every day. Welcome to CS Sports Philly. Um, if you didn't know, got a new website. Brand C new. Brand new. Brand spanking new. Uh, CSSportsPhilly.com. You know, something light, just like real nice stuff. Shout out to Randolph for hooking us up with that sick design. Yeah, thanks, That's the Randolph. banner. Randolph, uh, Randolph Adal does all our like creative uh, picture stuff. Mm -hmm. Like our I like the icon we have on Facebook right now. Yeah. Shout outs to Randolph. Big supporter. Also, Culture Wins Football, if you can see, new <laughs> shirts, got them in from uh, Crossing Broad, Kyle Scott, yep. got them ordered. Kyle Scott. It's a chip quote, if you don't know. He said it in the, uh, mic'd up against the Giants. <laughs> so, Culture Wins Football. But, um, yeah, I'm not used to the rock. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's not Dan's Rocking Sports Show, but it's Tuesday yeah. Sports. Well, let's get right into it. Houston Texans this week, big, big game, bounce back game. We gotta get it. We gotta get it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Flat out. Yeah. You, know? you gotta win. You gotta win games that you're supposed to win. Yeah, and we're supposed to win this game yeah. in my mind, and in everyone else's mind, spread is minus two, so we're supposed to win the game, yeah. even according to Vegas. But uh, a couple keys to the game, I think you got it. Sproles is back this week. I think you gotta get the ball to him and Shady, whether it's running the ball or get passing the ball, because we haven't been throwing the ball to Shady. Like, no, especially no, last no. week, he didn't get the ball at all. No, yeah. It was a lot of the play-action stuff. Even what? though we weren't running the ball, it was a lot of the read. Oh, uh, like the read Nick, option. Yeah, Nick yeah. Bowles was reading that yeah. the linebacker was right. going shady, so he had to pull and throw it. Yeah. That's, that's why true. he had that many throwing attempts. But still, <clears throat> and that's another thing. I, I mean, think. they just have to design it, run and run, you know? What? Like, stop, like, I feel like sometimes Nick just get on their center, hand it off to Shady, let's see what Shady can do. Yeah, that's you true. Know? Well, if you're going to do that, and they were blitzing everyone, so the run's not going to be there, you got to have a quick route to throw to them, yeah. which seemed like we didn't. I, I mean, mean, I think they just covered it well on the outside. You know, the outside receivers got covered up. I mean, I don't know. They were blitzing a lot of people. Someone yeah. might be open if you did uh, a quick slam around. I mean, you, you got that pressure. Their cornerbacks were big and physical. They're, they're jamming on the line, so. Well, yeah. I mean, he's got to throw the ball quick, though. Yeah. But, I mean, we should. I mean, after seeing the film, like, other teams are going to see Arizona blitzing against us. Teams are going to start blitzing more against us, probably. Yeah. Top Bulls had some bowls, man. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully Chip can adjust to that. Um, defensively, Fitzpatrick, a quarterback on the other side, doesn't really scare me. He's Not good. one bit. Paul can grow a beard like him. <laughs> no, so, like, no, I, I kind of say no, Paul and Fitzpatrick are. <laughs> no, Relatable. His mustache is crazy. I I can't grow a mustache. No, I you're can't. gonna you have a whole month. No yeah, shade no November, shade so. November. So you'll see the but progression. We got to get after Fitzpatrick uh, Sunday. Yeah, I think, I think he's he's, he's very inconsistent. I'm not really fearful of him. Who I am fearful of is Aaron Foster and the receivers. He's fantasy the running back right now. He's starting on. Yeah, he's crazy. the best in the league and. Um, Kind of start and he's rooting for him today. too. It's crazy. Like he's like, why are you lying to the audience? Not rooting for Aaron Foster. He's like, I hope Aaron Foster. That's not true. Up. Eagles. I believe me. I'm rooting for the Eagles for two reasons. <laughs> not only my normal reason, but something else. All right, whatever, dude. But um, we have to limit Foster and yeah, definitely. Just contain him. I I don't think he's gonna. Our run defense has been pretty solid this year. I don't know. I don't know the numbers. I don't know the numbers either. But I think it's been solid. I don't know. I just feel like I feel this. like. I feel like Foster's gonna blow up against us. All right, well, I'm not. Whether it's whether it's him rushing the ball or catching it out of the backfield. Even if he runs he for a hundred yards, we should still win the game, though. Which I think he's gonna run. For Andre Johnson can burn Kerry Williams. Andre Johnson's like 45 years old. Well, let's get into that. Who, who are you? What are you most scared about? About Houston? I'm scared defense? about. I'm scared about everything. Defense? I'm really scared about this game. I'm really scared. Are you? Yeah, I'm really scared. So Their defense is nice. J.J. Watt's a freaking monster. Yeah, and he's going to be lining up probably against Harriman's because Harriman's is banged up with the shoulder. Yeah, bicep. Bicep. Yeah. But So we're going to have to throw a lot of double teams at Watt, and that still won't help. But, like, Watt still gets it done. Watt get, gets double teamed all the time. He still gets he still gets it done. Watt's a beast. So if you had a period, what are you most for? Who's Nick, Foles has been, Nick Foles hasn't been looking good. I'm scared I, I'm about not, everything. I'm scared about everything. I'm not, me personally, I'm not fearful of this game. I see the Eagles coming in there. And I hope so. Pretty easily. I hope so. It's a it's a big game. If they lose this, the city's gonna be all. I'm gonna I'm gonna be flipping stuff over. I, yeah. I, did you see the Cowboys? The Cowboys yeah, the Cowboys I was, I, we never talked about. Yeah, no. Slugs him. Yeah, you'd yeah, be ripping down, he'd be ripping off the ceiling fan, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, thought, I thought like it was fake. <laughs> no, it had to be fake, but it it was also real because it happened. But yeah, I'm feeling <laughs> really confident about this game in Houston. I just feel like 
Chip Kelly, he's going to find a way. We're going to bounce back. Foles is going to have a big game. Eagles are going to have a big game. We get, we get Sproles back. We get Kelsey back. We haven't had Kelsey yeah. since, what, like week four or three? Five, three? Yeah. yeah it's been a while. It was I mean, he's two. not going to be a normal self in the it first game. Right? Or is that week two? I don't know. We lost like three O linemen in that yeah. game, so it's probably the Redskins. Yeah. But, um... The Eagles are all time three and zero against Houston. Houston has never beaten the Eagles. Yeah, in I mean, there's contest. always a first time for something. So he seems I'm, like you want the Texans to win. I mean, I don't want the Texans to win. I don't want the Texans to win. I don't have a single Texan on any of my fantasy teams. Well, even if you had all the Texans, like I fantasy still wouldn't want them. Play. I know, but the reason why you want the Texans to do good is because Foster. It's not true. <laughs> no, it's not true. But I really am scared of the Texans. I don't know. Anything can happen. It's a week to week league. Yeah, it is a week to week, and that's um, that's what it is. But. I mean, I mean Fitzpatrick is the only person that doesn't scare me. Like, I mean, that's the only reason why Our I can say like the offense been so doesn't. So good though. Like, I, like no no running back is blown up against us. Yeah, nope. that I can think of. I mean, Andre Allington had a pretty solid game, but he fumbled it. That one fumble that Nate Allen you, forced. The only he, big plays yeah. Arizona did anything against us was those two big plays. Other yeah. than that, like our defense is solid. No, I mean, I'm not scared. Defense. I wasn't scared of Arizona's offense, really. But yeah. then now I'm scared of every offense because Nate Allen. Dude, He's not it? even playing this week. Well, they're probably going to start Wolf. Wolf. They were actually talking about possibly starting Jalen Watkins, who's a rookie cornerback at safety. That's how bad it is right now. I heard that when we drafted him that he could play cornerback or safety. I heard that they were thinking about doing that already. But still, like a rookie. I'll, I'll take a rookie cornerback at safety over Nate Allen, dude. Most I'll take would. a left toe over. <laughs> but uh, the offense has been very inconsistent recently, and there we were talking about just before, like how open receivers were last year compared to this year. Is that a case of maybe defenses are figuring out that a whole year to watch film, or I think is it a case Deshaun of Deshaun missing the deep threat? Yeah, seeing him Monday night against Dallas, I mean, it kind of made me miss him a little bit, you know? Yeah, I mean... What, you don't like the show anymore? No, I mean, he's not a, he's, he's, he ripped us, so it's kind of like... That brings us back to the shirts we're wearing right now. He's what, not part of the culture. He's, he's not part of the culture. I mean, we're wearing the shirts, do we really believe it? I believe it. I believe I, culture. I, I think I believe it. I like the shirt. <laughs> the shirt's really cool. But, but um... Let's Let's get into the the predictions. predictions. Do you want to start off? I'll start it off. I think it's going to be a close game. I think a field goal is going to win this game. 27-24 Eagles. Just just because, like, I can't say the Texans, but, like, part of me really thinks that the Texans are going to win this game. And, like, I don't know. But um, I feel like Jordan Matthews is going to have a good day. But I don't know. Nick Foles might throw a pick or two. I got the Eagles winning 34-23. Uh, they'll control the game for the most part, and Demetrio so. Ryan's is going to have a big game against his former team, the Houston Texans. Not, so. And Connor Barlin is, too. Connor Barlin's going to have three sacks. You heard it here first. Um, Eagles are going to win. I hope so. You know what? I'm going to go further. I'm going to go further and beyond. And you guys can rip me after the show. What I guarantee you. you. Every You who are watching right now. What do you guarantee? Eagles, what do you guarantee? We'll win against the Houston oh, okay. Texans. Oh, yeah. Like, I pick a prediction, but that's just a prediction. I'm guaranteeing yeah. it. Oh, it's a, gar- it's a guarantee. Yeah. All right, I got you. I guarantee it. <laughs> Culture wins football. Yes, it does. Go Eagles. Hopefully Check out the, the site. CSSportsPhilly.com. We'll have a little preview up of the game. Blog preview. Check it out. Go Birds. <laughs>